creating an alert component with Daisy UI in Vue.js. This is really easy to do. Just go to the Daisy UI website, go to the components, and you wanna pick an alert you like the look of. Any will do. Let's do one with a button. Let's do this one. Click HTML, copy it. Go to your view project. This is Nuxt. Create a new component. Call it alert.view. Template. Paste that code in between there. Tidy it up a little bit if you want to. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swap these sections here for slots. You can do this with either slots or components, but we're going to do it with named slots. So we're going to make a slot here, name, and this is going to be for the icon. So we call it icon. And what we're going to do is just for the time being, we're going to cut the content and put it in there so we can then remember what is used there. And then we've got this is the main content of the alert. So we're gonna cut that out and we're gonna create a slot called content. Again, we're just gonna paste that in there for the time being. We're gonna move that in a second. And then we're gonna make another one called button. You can call these slots whatever you want. Buttons even. Um, it's just so that you can refer to them in your parents component. Now, if we save that and go to our parent component and we want to pull in this alert component. And now we can reference those name slots. So we can say template hash. And then the first one was called icon. And then we want to reference the other two as well. So we had content and buttons. And now we go back to our alert and if we can just remove these, so cut these out. So cut the icon and we're gonna paste that in the icon slots. Go back to alert again. We're just gonna cut out that text and paste it into the content slot. And then we're gonna do the same for the buttons. Cut them out. So now we're gonna save the alert component, go back to the parent, paste those buttons in there. And now if we save that and go to our project, we can see it here. So just to show that working, we can change the content of these slots to anything we want. change the buttons, blah, and that will change here, update here. So you can do that with slots or props. It's up to you um, kind of just depends on what you think is more appropriate. With a slot, you get to see the content more clearly when it's in your parent component. When it's props, that's better for passing arrays uh, and data in that sort of format. All the code, for this example, can be found on codinggoblin.com and I'll put the link in the description so that you can just copy and paste it straight into your Vue.js projects.